Let me tell you a story. This story is about a widow who had two small children. Now her husband passed away, but left no insurance at all for the support of the children and the family. She had a small amount of money in the bank, but that was quickly dwindling away, and as she put it, at an alarming rate. She was torn with anxiety. She tried to obtain a position, but everywhere she went, she was asked the question, well, how much experience have you had? Well, she was a mother of two children. She didn't have much experience, and in this job market, there was no way that she was going to be hired. Everything seemed to be going wrong for her, and as the unhappy days went by, her small bank account dwindling fast. Even though she was a student of this ministry and receiving our positive daily inspiration, she had told herself often that she had faith, but as she admitted, her faith was now dwindling. She began to doubt her faith, doubt God's ability to help her, and she wondered why this was all happening to her. And one day, this woman came to the realization that she no longer was going to serve two masters. She would stop the struggling, she would stop the worrying, and let God take over. Now, I say that often. That's not always an easy thing to do, especially when you're in the midst of an unemployment situation with a dwindling bank account. Well, a few days later, as she felt the peace of God inside of her, a new and a totally unexpected idea came to her. She had always been very good, better than almost anyone she knew at creating pastries. She thought, why not bake pies? She could do it at home, watching the kids, and bake cakes and sell them. It seemed as though it was almost an unseen hand that was guiding her as she spent the afternoon calling on friends and acquaintances. When she returned home, she had a pile of orders for cakes and pastries. Her little business prospered. She continued a very successful home bakery. And today, this lady is the owner of one of the most successful retail bakeries in the Midwest. My friend, when everything seems to be going wrong in your life, one irritation, one disappointment seems to lead to another as if they're on a train going through you. One troublesome problem solved leads to another that seems to be bigger, and life seems to be impossible. What is the cure? Let's talk seriously. If there is a fire burning within you, Everything that you touch is going to become inflamed. It's certain to become inflamed. It is, it is as if we are at war, and the conditions around us are innocent bystanders. Inner disharmony is not kept a secret inside of ourselves. We think it is. But actually, consciousness broadcasts it out everywhere we go. Unhappy times are preceded by a period of some kind of mental or spiritual conflict that is happening within ourselves. Abraham Lincoln once said, No nation could endure half slave and half free. Well... This truth also applies to individuals as well. We can't be slaves, or even part-time slaves, to an old order and still accept the new. In the old order, we were slaves to anxiety, we were slaves to worry, we were slaves to doubt and fear, 
we relied only upon ourselves. But the new order, the new order as set forth by Jesus tells us that only God has the power to control our circumstances. And this power operates through the Christ Spirit within us. Some of us have not accepted the new order completely. Oh, our heart says yes. But a stubborn, habit-conscious portion of our minds, it says no. And we have a divided allegiance inside of ourselves. Well, Jesus said that no man can serve two masters. The first step is that we must make a decision not to attempt to do ourselves what only God has the power to do. Only God can bring us out of chaos. Well, the question is then asked, well, do I just sit down and do nothing at all and just wait for God to do it all for me? <laughs> no, not at all. God works through us. When our faith is undivided, we find that we have a new foundation of, of peace, a new foundation of tranquility, a new foundation even of joy inside of us. And the Christ Spirit, works through this in a great power that comes and guides our actions, it directs our efforts, and it leads us to our good. We find that everything calms down. As Jesus said to the sea, peace be still. Well, we say it to our minds so that we can hear God's voice and God's guidance and follow it to our ultimate success in the new order.